Hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar about the design and simulation of printed 5G monopole antenna on vehicle window glass. My name is Amin, I am RF application engineer at EMWorks. This is brief overview of our today's discussion. So first we'll have small introduction. After that we'll talk about vehicle to vehicle communication, importance and challenges of printed 5G antenna. After that we have a discussion about the performance of the antenna with and without vehicle. Then after that we have live demo and then we have the uh, Q&A session. All right, about 1.35 million persons die every year because of the road collisions. According to a study, about 60% of the road collisions could be avoided if the driver was provided warning at least half a second. Uh, vehicle to vehicle communications provide communication to the cars and can this help of course prevent accidents. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about vehicle to vehicle to vehicle communication or V2V for short. Vehicle to vehicle communication aims at promoting smart transportation, reducing traffic accidents as well as travel delay. With the help of 5G, wireless vehicle communication would have low latency, high throughput and high data rates. So of course for the driver in order to avoid accident, the driver should be provided quick warning and for this we need low latency system. So from here we can see the importance of uh, 5G technology. From this figure, now those two vehicles, they start communicating between each other. Now they can send and receive data. This data, for example, it could be about position, speed, direction of travel, braking, and the loss of stability. Okay, so now let's talk about the importance of printed 5G monopole antenna. Why do we need printed 5G monopole antenna? Uh, for V2V communication, it needs high gain antenna in order to maintain stable connection. To avoid modifying the vehicle structure, antenna engineers have no choice but to print the antennas on vehicle window glass. Of course, it's aesthetically more appealing. So basically you have small antenna which is originally printed on the glass, so we have the glass which is printed on top of the window glass, so we have glass on glass, so basically the window now, it doesn't appear it has an antenna on it. Also it doesn't distract the, uh, the driver or the passenger view. Okay, so now let's talk about the challenges of the printed 5G monopole antenna. Now our antenna, so now when we go high in frequency, so our antenna becomes uh, physically small. When the antenna becomes physically small, now it's more susceptible to the uh, surrounding, which is the vehicle uh, structure. Also, we have only a few mounting positions, so basically we cannot put the antenna on anywhere on the car, so we are restricted to only a few mounting positions. Having high gain and small antenna is not always an easy task, simply because now the antenna is physically small, so it's now more sensitive to the surroundings. So now, for example, the vehicle can have an effect on the return loss, which in turn have an effect on the gain and the radiation pattern of the antenna. So from this discussion, it becomes clearly that, you know, predicting and designing such an antenna is very challenging. So basically, we cannot simply predict the performance of our antenna because we have so many parameters to count for, and these parameters, they can have a great effect on the performance of uh, our antennas. So for this, of course, we need to use the electromagnetic simulation software, such as HFWorks. Okay, so this is the antenna that we are going to investigate today. Uh, this is the vehicle window glass. So on top of it, we have the monopole antenna, and this is the coplanar waveguide, or CPW for short. These, these are the parasitic elements, and these serve to enhance the boresight gate of the antenna. At the bottom of the window glass, we have the lattice structure reflector, and this helps to reduce the radiation distortion. This is the K-tape connector. Uh, for the window glass, it has permittivity of 6.9 and loss tangent of 0 0.017 at 28 uh, GHz. This is the picture of the fabricated antenna. This is the top view and this is the bottom view. Okay, so now let's look at the performance of the antenna. So first we'll start with the vehicle and later on we'll discuss the performance of our antenna with the vehicle. In HFWorks, we have what we call the results table. 
and the results table we can see uh, different uh, circuit parameters such as generalized ACE matrix, renormalized ACE matrix, impedance matrix, admittance matrix, port result VSWR. You can see it for different uh, frequencies. From this table, uh, our port has an impedance of uh, 50 ohm. This is the reflection coefficient. The blue one is for the simulation result and the red one is for the measurement. So we can see that our antenna now has uh, a good reflection coefficient. So it has uh, reflection is less than 10 dB from almost uh, 26 up to 29 gigahertz. This is the 3D game pattern of the antenna. So from here we can see that the the antenna has a gain of almost 2.7 dB. Also in uh, HFworks we have what we call the antenna far field results table. Under this table we can see different uh, antenna parameters such as for example here the gain, so directivity, sorry, the gain, uh, mismatch efficiency, radiation efficiency, and total efficiency. Uh, from this table we can see that uh, our antenna has total efficiency of almost 40%. Also in HFWorks we can uh, see the electric field distribution as well as the magnetic field distribution. We can also see the animation of the E-field distribution. Okay, so now let's look at the performance of our antenna on vehicle. So for this we'll be studying two configurations. So first is the antenna on front door glass, the passenger window, and for the second configuration we study the antenna on the windshield. Okay, so now let's start with the antenna on front door glass. So this is the machine of the car, and also the machine of the, the radiation boundary, which is the air in our case, and also this is the machine of the antenna. This is again the results table. On this table we can see uh, the port has again impedance of uh, 50 ohm. Uh, from the antenna far field results table, so our, our antenna now has gain of 4 dB. So now the antenna, its gain now gets enhanced. So here we can see from this uh, figure, we can see that the, the, the reflection coefficient of the antenna on a car it doesn't affect it much so but still the antenna without vehicle has a better reflection coefficient but again the our antenna still meets the our uh, standard specifications so from this uh, figure we can see that the antenna has reflection which is less than 10 dB from almost 26 up to 29 This is the uh, 3D gain pattern of the antenna. So again, we can see that our antenna has a gain of uh, 4 dB, and this is 2D gain pattern of the antenna. Okay, so now let's look at the performance of the antenna on the windshield. So again, this is the um, the machine of the car, the the machine of the radiation boundary, and this is the the machine of the antenna. So from this results table the port has an impedance of 50 ohm. Okay, so now we can see that uh, now the gain of the antenna gets reduced to almost 2 dB, but it has total efficiency of almost 28%. From this reflection coefficient figure, we can see that the antenna on the windshield has a better reflection coefficient as compared to the antenna on front door glass. This is the 3D game pattern of the antenna. And this is the 2D game pattern. So this is, the, the blue one is the the pattern of the antenna on the windshield. And for the red one is for the antenna on front door glass. So from this plot we can clearly see that the antenna on front door glass has better gain. Okay, now we'll have a live demo. We'll be showing you how to design and simulate such antennas using HFWorks. So this is HFWorks and this is SOLIDWORKS. HFWorks is fully embedded in SOLIDWORKS. So basically you don't need to import or export any CAD. 
So once you are done with creating your geometry using SOLIDWORKS, you can just go ahead and start simulating using HFWorks. In HFWorks, we have four types of study. We have antennas, S-parameter, TDR, and resonance. But today, we'll focus our analysis on the antennas. These are our three studies. So the first one is the antenna without vehicle. Second one is the antenna on a car, on front door glass, and last one is the antenna on the windshield. Okay, so now let's start our analysis with antenna without vehicle. In HFWorks, so first we need to apply materials, and then after that we need to assign our boundary conditions, and then if we know how to do, do the mesh, we can apply mesh control. So for materials, so if you want to apply material, you can you come here it says right click, say apply material. So now we have different uh, materials. So we have different material from different uh, manufacturers such as uh, Rogers, Mitsubishi. You can also edit material. You right click, you say edit material. So for example, you can change any parameter you want to. Also, we have different boundary conditions. We have port, we have PEC, PMC, PEC symmetry, PMC. You have also resistive surface, radiation boundary, and uh, signal. Also, you can apply mesh control. So you right click, you say apply mesh control. So you can apply mesh control on bodies, on faces, on edges. So if you want to find out more on how to apply materials, assign boundary conditions, or apply mesh control, you can always uh, follow up our YouTube channel. Okay, so this is uh, our antenna. So this is the the window glass. This is the monopole antenna. This is coplanar waveguide. These are the parasitic elements. This is the K-type connector. So on the other face of the glass, we have these the lattice reflector. Okay, so let's check out the results table. So, in the results table, we can see different circuit parameters, such as generalized ACE matrix, renormalized ACE matrix, impedance matrix, admittance matrix, port results, VSWR. So, you can see it for each uh, frequency. So, again, our port has impedance of 50 ohm. You can also print results versus current frequency or frequencies. Also, you can uh, export results to different formats such as text file, CIT, SPC, or any other format. You can also uh, plot results. Uh, this is the reflection coefficient of our antenna. So the red one is for the measurement, and the blue, and the blue one is for the simulation. We can see again that the reflection coefficient of our antenna is less than 10 dB from 26 up to 29 gigahertz. Also, we can plot other parameters. You just right click and we say 2D plot. You can, for example, uh, plot impedance, admittance, VSWR, or any other results. So now let's check out our uh, antenna far field results table. So under this table, we can see different antenna parameters, such as the directivity, the gain, the mismatch efficiency, radiation efficiency, and total efficiency. So from this table, we can see that our antenna has total efficiency of almost 40%, and has a, a gain of uh, 2.7 dB. This is the 3D gain pattern of the antenna. And this is the 2D polar plot so versus different phi and theta values. You can also see the electric field distribution. So now we said now animate so versus phase. Okay, so now we can clearly see the the animation of the electric field. Oh, 
also you can uh, generate uh, reports so so from here you can see a summary of your antenna analysis so for example you have the model view and also you can now you see the summary of the materials you have applied and the boundary conditions so basically you don't need to copy or paste anything so everything is summarized right here so here you can under reports you just right click you say generate so you can generate reports in uh, in word format or html okay so now let's look at the performance of the antenna on front door glass Okay, so this is the, the vehicle, and this is uh, our antenna on front door glass. And this is uh, our radiation boundary, which is the air in our case. So let's check out the results table. So the port has again impedance of 50 ohm. So again, you can print to export. So let's check the reflection coefficient. So from this figure, we can see that the antenna on front door glass still have a good uh, reflection coefficient, and it doesn't get affected much by the uh, vehicle uh, surrounding. But still, the antenna without the vehicle has better reflection coefficient. So again, the antenna has the reflection which is less than 10 dB from 26 up to almost 29 gigahertz. So let's check out the results, far field results table. So from this table, we can see that the antenna has gain of 4 dB and total efficiency of almost 30%. So again, we can see that the, the gain, directivity, the gain, uh, mismatch efficiency, radiation efficiency, total efficiency. This is the 3D gain pattern of the antenna. So you can see that again the antenna has gain of 4 dB. And this is 2D uh, polar plot versus uh, different theta and phi angle, angles. Okay, so now let's look at the performance of the antenna on the windshield. Okay, so this is the car, and this is the the antenna on the windshield. So we can see now the mesh. So now we can clearly see the mesh of the car, and the mesh of the of the radiation boundary, which is the air, and also the mesh of the of the antenna. So let's check the our results table. So the port has an impedance again of 50 ohm. This is the reflection coefficient of the uh, antenna on the windshield. Also, let's say if you want to compare, let's say the the performance of the antenna on the front door glass with the, the windshield so we just come here and we can add the the antenna on the front door glass so so now it's easy to compare so from this plot we can easily see that the antenna on the windshield has better reflection coefficient as compared to the antenna on the front door glass so this is the results table from this table we can see that the antenna on the windshield, it's again now gets reduced to 2 dB. It used to be uh, 4 dB. And now also the antenna has total efficiency of almost 28%. So again, we can see uh, directivity, the gain, mismatch efficiency, radiation efficiency, total efficiency. You can also print, you can also export our results. This is the 3D gain pattern of the antenna. So again, the antenna has a uh, gain of 2 dB. So 
so this is the uh, 2d radiation pattern so from this uh, plot we can clearly see that the antenna on front door glass has better gain as compared to the antenna on the windshield so now here comes the the end of the live demo okay so all right so here comes the end of the uh, presentation to summarize we have seen the importance of the 5g printed monopole antenna on the vehicle glass in v2v communication and how it can help save millions of people lives you have also learned that mounting the antenna on front door glass basically the passenger window has a better performance than on the windshield uh, we have demonstrated you the powerful features of HFWorks and how easy it is in designing and simulating antennas on different structures such as vehicles. With that, I would like to thank you and the floor is now open for questions. So please type your questions in the window chat on the right hand side. Thank you.